CarMax earnings are in and things don't look good, like really not good. So let's get into it. As we all know, CarMax is the largest used car retailer in the United States. And why is this important? In fact, I would argue that the earnings report from CarMax is more important to the automotive industry than earnings reports from the likes of Ford, GM, or really any other dealership group out there. Because of the fact that CarMax earnings oftentimes really reflect the overall health of the car market and economic conditions as a whole. And so it really gives us a great glimpse into where the car market is trending, what has been happening over the last three months in the car market, as well as what you can expect if you're somebody who's looking to buy a car. And let me tell you, the most recent earnings report tells us a lot. Now, the earnings that we're going to be discussing today are for the fourth quarter for CarMax, because CarMax is on a different fiscal year than the majority of companies that we talk about on this channel. And in this earnings report, we learned that CarMax missed revenue expectations by 3.2%, reporting just over $5.6 billion in revenue when they were expected to report $5.8 billion. Not only did this miss analyst expectations, but it was down 1.7% from this time last year. On top of that, they also missed earnings per share estimates by a whopping 30.5%, with analysts expecting them to reach 46 cents per share when in reality they reached 32 cents per share. What's interesting is that retail unit sales did increase by 1.7%, so while sales volume did increase, the amount of money that they made off of that volume actually went down, and wholesale units sold decreased by 4%. As I mentioned, CarMax did make less off of each and every car that they sold. Gross profit per retail unit sold was at $2,251, while gross profit per wholesale unit sold was at $1,120. Both of these figures were down from a year ago. When it comes to vehicle acquisition, CarMax bought 234,000 vehicles from consumers and dealers, which was down 10.8% compared to a year ago. 213,000 of these vehicles were purchased from consumers, down 14.1% over last year's fourth quarter, while 21,000 of these vehicles were purchased through dealers, which was actually up 44.8% from last year. So while CarMax is still buying more of their vehicles from consumers compared to dealerships, you did see the amount of vehicles that they bought from consumers declined, while the number of vehicles that they're purchased from dealers went up. Now, CarMax earnings weren't all bad. CarMax auto finance income reported at $147.3 million, which was actually up 18.9%. And they attributed things like less loan losses as to why they saw this increase, which they blamed on things like tightening lending standards for the reason why this occurred. And this is because of the fact that with tightening lending standards, lower quality borrowers aren't getting approved as often. And thus, the people that are actually borrowing money and taking out loans are higher quality borrowers with less risk. And as a result of this, they are defaulting on their loans less often, which is leading to less losses for CarMax as a whole. And so again, just to summarize everything that we just discussed, combined retail and wholesale used vehicle unit sales were at 287603 which was a decline of 0.9% from a year ago. CarMax bought 234,000 vehicles from consumers and dealers, which was down 10.8% from a year ago. Other sales and revenues declined by 3.7%, and net income fell a whopping 27%. Now, what all of this data tells us is that CarMax had a tough quarter, and this really points to the clear conclusion that the car market is absolutely slowing down. In short term, this really just means more of the same, more slow and steady declines within the use car market. But if things do continue, this could ultimately mean that price declines within the car market could actually accelerate. And there are a few key points within this earnings call that I think really make that case. First is the fact that CarMax's nationwide share of 10-year-old or newer vehicles fell from 4% to 3.7% in 2023 compared to 2022, with the CarMax CEO stating that vehicle affordability caused this. Vehicle affordability, at least in part, prevented people from trading in their vehicles or caused people to step out of the car market and hold onto cars that they may have otherwise already traded in. These people are either waiting for car prices to fall or they've just determined that car prices are too expensive and thus they're going to keep their current cars long as possible. And you know, this is actually the second time that we've heard this point discussed in the last few weeks in the context of the car market as a whole and how used vehicles and the lack of trade-in vehicles are affecting the overall car market. Because just recently, there was an automotive report that was released that stated a similar statement that over the last year, really the last couple of years, there has been a segment of buyers that would have otherwise traded in their car, but they've opted out of that because of the fact that cars are simply unaffordable. And this is absolutely affecting the car market and it will have have a massive impact on the car market once these people decide to trade in their cars. Because at that point in time, we will have a 
larger influx of vehicle inventory, particularly older vehicle inventory that will in turn bring the car market down in price overall. So the fact that car owners are holding onto their vehicles longer, they're not trading them in, this is something that automakers and dealerships are paying attention to. Because like I mentioned, it does have an impact. And so I think it's something that we should be paying attention to as well, especially if you are somebody who's in the market for a used or new car. The second point that I want to note is the fact that it's not lost on CarMax, the fact that if they lowered prices, they would sell more cars. And by not lowering prices, this is a strategic decision. According to Automotive News, though CarMax's focus every year is to gain market share, it will continue to test price elasticity to see whether it makes sense to lower margins to sell more vehicles and get more total gross profit. And CarMax CEO stated, if you lowered car prices, you could absolutely sell more cars. We're focused on profitable market share. And look, you can see it with publicly traded auto retailers. They're swapping it off, sometimes units for GPU. And when you look at total comp GPU, it just hasn't been necessarily a good decision. And I think we all know what automaker the CarMax CEO is referring to. <coughs> Tesla. And while some may read this statement as an inclination that CarMax actually isn't considering lowering prices, to me, it actually means the exact opposite. And it does mean that this is something that CarMax is paying attention to. And if push comes to shove, they may actually consider this option. And I think that this statement at the very least indicates that lowering prices is on the table and it is being discussed. And the thing is, is that if consumer demand continues to fall, if revenue and net income continue to drop, the idea of lowering prices in order to increase demand, I think it's a real possibility. Which brings me to the conclusion of this earnings report. I recently made a video talking about why I don't think you should buy a car right now. And in that video, I outlined a few reasons as to why I think if you're currently in the market for a used car, I would wait at least until around June, if not later. And in that video, I stated reasons like seasonality and tax refunds, falling revenue and profit and negative dealership sentiment for why you should wait. Meaning dealerships aren't feeling great about the current state of the car market and they also aren't making as much money. These are all reasons why I think that if you are looking for the best deal possible in the car market, waiting is probably your best option. Because I strongly believe that if we as consumers continue to make dealerships and automakers sweat a little bit, they will eventually give in and lower prices. Because in the words of every dealership and automaker in 2021 and 2022, supply and demand. And so while this earnings report certainly isn't good news for CarMax, I do think that it is good for the average consumer consumer and it shows us that the car market is falling, car prices are going down, and dealership profit is decreasing as well. And once again, if I was in the market for a used car, I would personally wait until June. But like always, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, I would love to hear it, so make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.